See what's going on in the world. I, I know one thing I want to go ahead and mention front and center here. We are uh, boarding uh, the big Stephen DC show uh, R and V right after the show today, and we are headed south. We're headed down to one of uh, I know it's one of my favorite cities in all of uh, America, Atlanta, Georgia, for the big DJ school convention. Oh. Yeah, that we go to every year. It's a DJ school slash convention. And if you're wondering, well, if you go every year, uh, what 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 have you learned? Whoo, you should have heard us before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, you know, the thing is, though, when we come back from the from the DJ school, we are so much better for that first couple of weeks. Really, it's I mean, it is so worth the money. It's just an excuse to go to Atlanta, as far as I'm concerned. I remember that one time. That one time we went all went mm -hmm. the three of us. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to get you in trouble or anything, Steve, yeah. but Steve did not leave the room. No, he didn't. He didn't go to Look, one seminar. Let me tell you something. If you let me know that there are a thousand DJs down in the <laughs> hotel lobby, it'll take the SWAT team to get me in the room. <laughs> he would leave at like 10 o'clock at night and go get some food for somewhere. There was not room for another fat belly or Hawaiian shirt in that lobby, so I uh -uh. kept mine in the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we did this one time. It was something else. We did this thing called Jabbing on the Job. It's Jabbing on the J-O-B, and it is a smash. The phones are just on fire. And Monster they phones. They talk like that. <laughs> you can walk into the hotel lobby and you hear that. Like it just echoes throughout the lobby because oh. there's like a thousand morning DJs there oh. yeah. <laughs> trading ideas. All of a sudden you can hear everybody saying, now what time do you give the, the time checks? When you do the time, what time do you actually do that? Do you do you double time? Do you do the, you know, it's 5, 12, 12 minutes after 5 o'clock. Or do you do it the other way? It's 48 minutes before 6. How do you guys do it? A whole lot of that. But uh, the, 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 uh, the key is, you're probably thinking, well, why don't you guys go? Boss pays for it. Pretty much. And then, <laughs> and, you know, it's an excuse to go to Atlanta. Because yeah, there's uh, an incredible restaurant down there called Bones. Yeah, Bones. And we don't, we, which is all that's left when we get done, we don't. We don't <laughs> big <laughs> Bones. <laughs> big pile of Bones. <laughs> Nothing but a big pile of Bones. That is so It was true. three days, and you had room service like four times a <laughs> no, day. that was funny. He and never he left never, the room. He wouldn't let housekeeping even come in. So you walk in there, and there Actually, would just be trays and not. Uh, I'm not proud of this, and this is when I first realized, this is when I first realized I might might have uh, food issues. <laughs> That's the year, D.C., that uh, you left for a session, and I couldn't decide what exactly I wanted on the room service menu, uh -huh. so I basically ordered everything, <laughs> and when they said, because they were going to have to bring it up and wheel it in, right. and, and when they said how many people, you know, setups for how many people, I said five but oh, it was yeah. just me. So they get to the door, and it was so much food. That's right. They yeah. had two carts. They couldn't even wheel the room service in on one cart. So they come in, and they have five waters and five, you know, forks and sets, silverware sets and all that. China. Five, China, China for five. So I went in the bathroom, and I turned on the shower. I'll never forget. I closed forget the door. They wheel it in. They said, do you want us to set it up for you? And I go, well, yeah. And they said, for five? Because I'm the only one in the room. Mm -hmm. And I said, where yeah. are the other four people? I said, the wife and kids are getting in their bath. They're in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> had the water running. They're getting their bath. And then, and then they set it all up for five and leave. And then I just move around the table from chair to chair. <laughs> had me a big time. But then, of course, I, you know, crawl in the bed. And what do you do after a meal like that? You go to sleep. Yes. DC well, comes back to the room, and he's like, did you have a party? Who all's been here? <laughs> Nobody. You must have had. I see five place settings out, and I know there's only one Steve in there. What's mm -hmm. the deal? Oh, God. Tw over 20 movies you had watched, like pay-per-view movies. A couple, yeah. One of them yeah. twice or something. It was one of the best conventions I've ever been to. Yes. And I hope the boss is not listening. He's probably going to cancel the uh, I know. I'm, yeah. expense account for the trip. Uh, what will be interesting about this trip is Jimmy Mano, our producer. Producers get a lot out of this. Thing. They yes. actually have to go to the sessions while we eat and uh, sleep. Jimmy Mano will be flying early. He'll be flying down uh, early to get there. We're going in the big RV because we hate to fly. Uh, uh, traveling with us in the big RV will be assistant producer Kel Bell. And Timmy P, yes, who nice. is uh, like a producer in training, yes. basically. But I understand he has really bad gas on a regular oh, basis. Yes. yes. Mm. I actually brought my candles with me, like for the room to like defumigate, like the boy smell and like the Timmy Kelly, P smell. Kelly said the most disgusting thing. I came through the door and she said, "I'm bringing my own soap because I'm I'm sharing a room with a couple of boys." And she said. I don't want to get in the shower and find pubic hair on my soap. I don't blame you, girl. Because they don't wipe it off. I, like, mm, never mind. I, like, I'm going to gag just thinking about it, but I can't stand living with boys. Well, I tell you what. You're I'm going to get married. I know. I'm trying to figure that out right now. I don't know about your boys, mm -hmm. but uh, let me tell you what I do. 
I actually, I, and I probably shouldn't tell you this, you'll never room with me. I use the soap like a washcloth. That's my washcloth, the bar of soap. All boys do. Yeah, I want to tell you right? something disgusting. I was over at a guy's house, not normally, a guy, a buddy of mine, and there was no lie. You cover your ears if you get gored out or you're eating breakfast, but there was corn on the soap. Oh. Yeah, I am not lying. You think that, I mean, you think ha pubic hair is nice. <laughs> I don't even want to ask. I don't, don't even ask. know what that is. A piece of corn. Maybe he's like me. Takes him a little plate to the shower in case he gets hungry. <laughs> Guys I mean, are gross. Sometimes I'll sit down and have a little snack while I'm bathing. <laughs> mm. Well, I, but see, I do not use the soap as a wash rag. So I do. probably use some uh, body cream, moisturizer, yeah, but you, I use a you got a wife that buys you loofahs. I use but a nice puff. loofah. Creams up his face. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, I, 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 Remember when I used to go out with the princess? Yes. And the princess, it's before I moved to where I live now, the princess left a loofah in my house, but she tied it to the, uh, and I don't know if this is common or not, to the, to the, uh, what do you call it? The shower, shower head. Shower head. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It, but it was tied there. And it stayed there for so long, it attached itself. It grew into the <laughs> thing. It, it was embedded in the shower head. So I could never remove it. So I left it at the house. But for the longest, if you came over to my house, there was a loofah hanging from the shower head. And people were like, uh, Steve uses a loofah. And then I'd say, no, no. And I'd try to explain it. Nobody believed the story. Yeah. That's yeah, the well, honest to God's truth. Well, who would believe that, really? Well, nobody did. Yeah. you got to replace those things. Like, Not even sure I believe it. Once every couple of months. To yeah. Things yeah, you do. You have to get a new loofah. But we're, uh, we'll have stories, I'm sure, when we get back from the, uh, if nothing else, from the uh, DJ convention. And then also from the big RV road trip to Atlanta with Timmy P. We, we've traveled with Kel Bell before. We know all her quirks. We've traveled with Jimmy. We know all his quirks. Timmy P, he's a newbie. We, DC and I, we don't really know his quirks. All I hear about him is that he has really bad gas. Yeah. <laughs> really uh, bad gas. Oh, yeah, and you uh, you think I'm bad here? Wait till you get me overnight, Kelly. I'm sorry. Uh, oh. In the RV. <laughs> Trapped in the RV. Oh, what are you going to do no. with all these boys, it's Kelly? Be like road rules, road rules on acid. Sweat hogs. And the air conditioning's broke, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> gross. All these boys. Actually, we couldn't get the RV this time. Because we're on what? a tight budget, we've got a little pop-up camper. We're <laughs>